Hello everyone, how are you all doing? My name is Bablu and I'm here with my squirrel monkey Chico. Just been asked a few um, questions, people asking me that where do you get a squirrel monkey from? I personally myself do not want to give any information where I got them from because I don't really want anyone to get them. Not because I'm jealous or anything that way. It's that I believe that these squirrel monkeys or any monkey are really, really hard work. And I don't reckon, I don't believe that they are pets. They're more than pets and I don't think just because we have the money and we have love for them isn't enough to own one. I believe that <clears throat> you have to do a lot and lot of research, a lot of knowledge. You have to study a lot. You have to know the ins and outs of, of these monkeys before you get one. Otherwise, you will get a monkey which is really depressed and it's not going to be fair on the monkey. Also, the monkey might attack a member of your family. You know, it might do anything. They're not always as cuddly and um, as friendly as you might think they are because at the end of the day, deep down inside, they are only animals and the animal instinct will kick in any time, you know. And you have to be able to read that and you'll have to be able to know that. So me personally, I say to I say anybody who asks me where I get them from, how much they are, blah, blah, blah. I really want you to do your own, own homework and see them. But please be careful that there are a lot of scams out there. A lot and a lot of scammers out there who just all they want is your money. That's all they want. They want you, they'll take your money, they'll take your deposit. You won't get nothing after a after they promise you there's one guy who i might recommend you who's on um, on youtube youtube himself and his name is podgy podgy's animal house and he's had loads of good reviews and everything but that's in america from uk you know i think you should do your own little research i've been um scammed a few times myself that's why i say it you know so i would not like to give anybody any name or anything and then you guys get let down or whatever so I just would like to say, like, you know, love just isn't enough to own one of these monkeys. They are really, really hard work, you know. There are, there are times when a member of the family will go out together and you can't go out. Where are you going to go? You know, you, you've got, like, a full-time babysitting to do with the squirrel monkeys. So please be aware of all this as well. And know that, you know, um, they are constant hard work. They, you know, you've got to constantly keep them happy, constantly to do for them. You've got to have an outdoor aviary, you've got to have an indoor aviary. You've got to make sure you've got fresh fruit, fresh vitamins. Fresh fruit for them, sorry. And you've got to have vitamins for them. They need a lot of sunlight. And they need to be kept happy and thinking all the time. Chico, just over a year and a half, a half old. And he has come along amazing. He's good, you know, sometimes he'll have his bad days. But as our um, owner, we have to understand this. We have to have a lot of patience and we have to find out why he's doing so and so, you know. So that's why I just don't think. I would say to anybody who really, really wants a pet or anything like that, try even with a marmoset first. And marmosets are hard work as well, you know. After owning a marmoset for a few months, you might soon realize that you do not want a monkey, you know. And look, they'll run around your house, they'll climb over everything. You have to house proof everything. And that's just what I do. And the other thing I would like to say as well is that um, we see a lot of criticism on the, um, you know, people are like us who have um, squirrel monkeys. We have squirrel monkeys, we might any monkey. And you see a lot of animal rights people, or you, or you see a lot of people come in criticizing, you know. So I myself would like to say that um, I do not get offended by any of this. I understand where these people are coming from. And in fact, you know, they sometimes they call them the monkey police or whatever. But I personally think that we need more of these monkey police people, you know, they're good. Because it's people like that who really, deep down in their heart, who really care about these animals as well, you know. And that's why they go out the way, you know. And sometimes, you know, they believe they should be in the jungle and what, jungle where they belong and all that, you know. So I have sympathy for those people and I am really um, glad these people exist, you know. We need more of these people as well out there. Who... <clears throat> Really, deep down inside, all their welfare really is cares. That is for the animal, it's for the animal. They want the animals to be happy, you know. And they've probably seen a lot of cruel things out there, and that's their right, you know. But if we can keep the monkey happy, if we can do what we if we're, do, the right stuff, then everyone is happy, and I think that's the way it should be, you know. So, guys, um, any question and answers, you know, if you like, 
If you inbox me, I'll try my best to question and answer you. But um, think really deep, deep uh, before you get one of these, man. They are really, really hard work, you know. But also, the fun is out of the world, you know. It's not, all, it's not all bad. It's not all bad. It's all great. When you know what you're doing, it's brilliant. There she go. You want to add anything to it? You want to say anything? You want to say anything? Apart from subscribing, also Chico saying, guys, oh, like and subscribe to our channel, please. And thank you so much for watching and supporting us. Really, really appreciate it. And because the weather is still very, very bad, as you guys can see, I don't like to take him out much out in the cold. So soon, soon as the summer starts coming, we'll be doing a lot of activities outdoors. But I spend a lot of time in this room with Chico. As you can see, I constantly are by there. I got a mop there constantly, and I have a brush there constantly because he's an animal. He's gonna make mess, whatever. So that's done all the time. We're gonna make sure I keep it nice and clean all the time. Last thing I really want is anyone to come to my house, or even for myself, and the house has any bit of smell, you know? That would really, really put me off. I want it to be really smelly, really nice and clean. And that is also one of the most important things for the monkeys that you've got to make sure they are clean. You keep them really, really clean so they got no disease and nothing comes come, come by them. Look, because I'm talking and I'm ignoring him, he wants, he wants to come out, he wants to play. Won't be long now, Chico. Chico is not my pet, guys. Chico is my little friend. In you, Chico. If anything, I think I am his little pet anyway. Come on. Look, he wants to go out. Can go out, Chico, because it's raining. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. And please like and subscribe to our channel. And hope to see you again. And if there's anything I said which is incorrect, please, I'm ready to be corrected there. I don't mind being corrected. Correct, correcting means that we're learning. So, also, I'm not saying that I'm an expert in any of this field as well either, please. So, it's just that what have I, I've had and I've learned from having, this is my second monkey, school monkey, what I've learned and what I had. And I, speaking to other people is what I find that works best. So, yes, I hope this doesn't offend anybody. Hope any hope anybody don't take it the wrong way thank you and peace